cameras ready. Massive airdrop of Army paratroopers to secure this airfield. They're going to be jumping from 800 feet. The jumpers have their parachutes attached to a cable running through the link of the aircraft, which will automatically extract the chute as they exit the aircraft. The pilots are evaluating winds and sighting in on an orange raised angle marker, the target point of the drop zone. The pilots are diligently flying the aircraft to the exact location, the calculated air release point, to drop the jumpers as close to the targets as possible. A safe drop is critical. Lead aircraft piloted by Major Brendan Turtleweir, the CAPEX Airborne Mission Commander. Watch it now, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see it no place else in the world. And right here at the Rock, as the 82nd Airborne takes to the skies, 200 of them. Not using the old round parachutes of World War II, but the more modern, almost square parachutes that give them a little better controllability. Let me ask you something, is this impressive or not? This right here tells the story, ladies and gentlemen, of airlift. Airborne, ladies and gentlemen, they are deployed in combat like this. Now, once that last C-130 gets out of the way and the noise re uh, dwindles down a little bit, I want us to put our hands together, let them know that uh, that you appreciate this. Let's scream and holler and make some noise for the 82nd Airborne. the pilots and crews of the C-130s, the J's and H's. This is remarkable. For 36 years I've done air shows. I've been here several times that this CAPEX exercise has been done and it takes the cake for all air shows.